Dear colleagues and researchers, uh, my name is Xin Ye and I'm now a graduate student at UC San Diego. Today I would like to introduce our recent paper accepted by ICASSP 2021 on Kalman Optimizer. I will introduce a Kalman filter ingredient sent to reduce the noise and variance in the gradient. Let's get started. First of all, we need to clarify some basics and problems about gradient descent. Gradient descent is a very common method for optimization. Given the function, we take a small step on the direction of the gradient at each iteration to minimize it. One important application of gradient descent is back propagation in training neural networks. Since the batch gradient descent is very time consuming and slow in convergence, most of the application is built upon stochastic gradient descent. It only uses some randomly sampled examples to estimate the true gradient direction. But stochastic gradient descent is not perfect. In general, we can summarize three main, uh, main drawbacks of stochastic gradient descent. First, real-world data is noisy, and noisy data inevitably leads to noisy gradient. Second, when the problem is non-convex, SGD is probable to trap to the local minimum. The third problem is that the gradient descent is a greedy method, but only look at the temporary state, the gradient estimation may be noisy and with high variance. For example, by approximating the local error surface with a quadratic function, when the Haitian matrix is ill conditioned, the gradient could be with large variance. One popular method to get rid of this problem is momentum. It keeps a rounding average term of the gradient called momentum. Then we can update the parameters but weighted sum of the current gradient with the running average. A lot of more advanced methods are built upon this, like Adam, Adamax, uh, then Nadam and Adam's grade. In the field of signal processing, we can see the gradient as a special kind of signal, and the momentum is nothing but an autoregressive filter with auto 1. It's simple, but it's too simple. In, the, in this paper, we endeavor to extend it to some more efficient and complicated filter design, like common filter. In this paper, we propose common optimizer, which incorporates common filter in stochastic gradient descent to reduce the randomness of the gradient estimation, and the result shows that our method reduces the variance and achieves fast convergence. Suppose the computed gradient Gn at iteration n is the observer signal. All we want to do is to estimate the real state, the noiseless gradient Pn from the noisy observations. Here, we assume that gradient descent follows a linear dynamic system with two Gaussian no noise. Using the common filter, we can estimate the minimum mean square estimate of Pn given Gn. We first run the prediction step estimate the pn based on the previous uh, previous state pn minus 1 then we make the observation by just rounding the typical back propagation method to compute the gradient gn using the predicted state and observation we run the update step to correct the prediction by the current observation using the common gain and thus we take the gradient descent on each parameter as we normally do here we can see that our method can be seen as the four steps circle, one step forward prediction, compute the observed gradient, correct all the uh, estimation based on the observed gradient, and we take the gradient descent as we normally do. Since running the full common filter of each parameter is quite expensive, we adopt a scale common filter for all parameters. All the hyperparameters are predefined when we search them via grid search. Then we study the effectiveness of the proposed common optimizer via three experiments. We do a non convex optimization problem and we train two neural networks on different datasets. We compare three methods the common optimizer, the vanilla stochastic gradient design, and the momentum method. First, we study a simple case. We define a two-dimensional non-convex function, f and fx, and given the 
same starting points, we would like to find its minimum using three methods and two different step size choice. We visualize the optimization trajectory on the ob ob objective function. We see, see that in the middle pictures, uh, the f for small step size, both momentum method and common optimizer find the global minimum, but the uh, SGD falls in such case. And for large uh, step size, you can see that, that the momentum method uh, introduces large variance in the gradient estimations, uh, but the common optimizer uh, gives consistent estimate of the gradient, and the SGD also attracts in the local minimum. And we also visualize the function value and the gradient variance with uh, three different me method and for the situation with uh, small step size the common optimizer achieves zero uh, gradient variance but the, the uh, SGD introduced large variance and it has difficulties in convergence uh, and for the uh, large step uh, size case uh, the momentum method uh, diverge and they introduce additional uh, variance to the gradients. You can see that the orange curves, uh, the variance for the movement method is dramatically is, is large. And we also uh, train a multi-layer perception on MNIST uh, using three methods and different learning rates and batch size. We, see, we can see two phenomena. First, the common optimizer always outperforms many the SGD, and it, uh, we can see that it's a more advanced version of SGD. And the second observation is that for the uh, small learning rate and uh, large batch size, the gradient estimation for the moment method is very uh, consistent, and so that it achieves the best result. But for the large learning rate and small uh, by batch size, the momentum method has difficulty in convergence, and you can see that it achieves uh, quite low performance. But the common optimizer is very uh, robust to those high performance selections. And we also uh, run the uh, ResNet 18 experiments on CIPA 10 uh, using uh, three different batch, uh, batch size. And well, we see that, uh, that the same situations for the small uh, batch size case, uh, the, the moment method uh, did, pull, uh, did pull, and uh, the SGD method always reduces additional uh, noise and variance in the training curves. And we see the same phenomenon uh, that for uh, the large batch size, uh, the mo uh, uh, the moment method excels, but for small batch size case, the common optimizer is less sensitive to the uh, to the hyperparameter select uh, choice. So uh, it, it can see that the common optimizer can be seen as a more advanced version of moment method that is less sensitive to the hyperparameter selections. And we also compare the runtime. Uh, we compute the average back propagation time per iterations uh, for multi-layer perception of minutes and the uh, rest net 19 on CIFA 10. So we can see that uh, common optimizer works a little bit slower than STD and momentum method, but with comparable comparable time complexity, uh, theoretically by adding, by only using a scalar uh, common filter, uh, common optimizer only adds uh, O N time complexity for the gradient computation compared to SGD. So uh, the the runtime is still very fast. Oh, thanks for listening and uh, helps you do the best uh, in the, through this pandemic. Uh, thank you.